Okay, we have the Panasonic TCP50S30. And we're taking off the back panel. So you can see there's screws here, 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 here. Kind of saw all the way around the edge there, there, there. You can see it says ST4. Everywhere there's an arrow, there's going to be a screw coming out. So go around the edge, get all, the, all of them on the bottom. There are a couple you can't really see. There's one here, one there, one there, and one there. And also you need to take these ones off as well that are on the back. There's a couple right here where the plug-in goes. And then there's quite a few that go around um, where this board is at. So make sure to get them all out when you're pulling on this piece to get it off. If there's any kind of resistance, that means that there's still a, um, a screw in there. So I'm going to go ahead and undo all those and I'll show you how to take off uh, the back panel. I just took out the screws. Um, there's four different kinds. There's these ones that came out of here. There's these ones that came out of all the way around. There's these two that came out of here and here. And there's these couple that came out of where all your auxiliary ports are at, where your plug-in is at, and over where your volume control is at. So make sure to put those in different piles so that you don't lose them or forget, forget what goes where. So the next thing there's up here, there's clips. So your TV lip will hang just over the edge of those. So it's kind of hard to pull, but you just kind of give it a little pull. Not too hard, you're going to break it. If it feels too much resistance, let it go. Um, once you've unhooked them from there, um, you should be able to pull it apart. Um, let's see, I'm having a little bit of trouble here, so I might be hung up on one of these um, bolts. Let me check real fast. So I had two bolts that I forgot were right there. Like I said, if there's any kind of resistance, don't pull too hard. you got a screw that's there. Um, so it kind of comes undone after that. It just pops off. And then you have access to all of your boards. The one I've already done some research, this is my bad one, but I'm parting out this um, so that I can be able to sell it and make some money back. Uh, so here you have your, your SC board. This one is your power board. This one is your auxiliary port with all of your ribbons attached to it. Um, so that's the main components of it. If you need to get to each one, that's how you get to whatever it is. I'm do some research. Like I said, I'm going to part this out and try and make some money back off of it. In board, um, this piece just sits right in there. You just pop it out. That's pretty simple. I've already done it. Uh, it's about like that. Just pull it out. Down here you have a little piece. You just shimmy this one out. And this one as well. Just shimmies right on out. Um, that kind of frees up here. Then you have these. And all you do is lift up your little tabs. And then just shimmy these things out, being very careful not to rip them or tear them. Um, you can kind of push them out of the way or tuck, tuck them under if you want. Not a big deal. And then you got some bolts, or nuts here I meant, and where there's an arrow indicating where each one is at, just like on all the other boards. So take and undo those, and if you've already done the outside ones when you took off the back of the TV. So just take and unscrew those real fast. So here we are undo the last one. You want to make sure you have both hands ready for it or at least be holding on to it. You just unscrew this and it comes right off. The main board off. You're going to take the SS board off. This is pretty straightforward as well. You just pull this piece down and kind of shimmy that piece out. Undo these. And you're going to want to get a screwdriver. And you just barely kind of put it in there, not make sure not to pull too hard. Um, so you don't want to rip it. If you rip it, then you're in trouble. So just kind of give it a little bit of shimmy, and it'll pop right out. And go to the next one, do the same thing. Just put a little bit of pressure, and then the bottom one as well. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. Just kind of pop it out. Up here, you're gonna push this button, pull it out and then undo the screws. Same with all the other ones, it's got an arrow that indicates where there's a screw at. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
taken all of them out except for this last one. So just unscrew it. Make sure to hold on to your board so it doesn't drop and break. And then there you go. That's how you get your SS board off. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you want to take off everything, you can go ahead and watch my videos or the whole thing. And so everything's taken off so far. I'll go back to it and I'll get all the cables and the power box. Uh, get the speakers out. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And that's how you get all of your boards off.